Hey, how's it going? It's Carl in my uh, home studio right now. And uh, kind of, you know, I, I wanted to mention that, um, you know, since my video is going to be about drum core and, you know, how to get into it, um, I forgot to mention that um, Huey, my friend, uh, has created a, an awesome article about um, drum core and uh, auditioning for drum core and getting better at it, uh, that sort of thing from an instructor point of view. Um, I will leave a link for that uh, write-up that he did, which is excellent. Um, that is also a great resource for, you know, getting into drum core and how to get better at, um, and just, you know, learning how to uh, get into those groups. Um, it shows uh, a different element to it, which is gonna be very helpful to you. So go check that out. Like I said, I I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And uh, without further ado, uh, here's the video for today. Hey, how's it going? It's Carl, aka Carl Drum Tech, and I'm here right now back in Roxbury Park in Beverly Hills. Uh, I did a video uh, a while ago back here in the same location, and I think I'm wearing the same shirt. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was definitely one of the most watched videos I've had in terms of um, a situation happening with some negative comments, and I turned it into a great teaching situation. So if you have not checked that video out, go ahead and check it out right now. I will leave a link in the description of this video. But today what I wanted to talk about is um, drum corps and uh, what somebody has to do to kind of get involved in that process and uh, how to basically get in the drum corps. Um, so I can just talk about the experiences that I've had and what I had to do um, in order to do that and um, hope and share it with you and hopefully uh, you get something out of it. So basically, um, you know, if you were to join the drum corps, you've probably heard about it because you are in your high school marching band program or middle school, whatever the case may be, and uh, you're learning about the marching band thing. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is amazing. And then you hear about this other thing called drum corps or independent you know uh, groups like winter guard or winter percussion and you're like holy crap like you know these there, there's, there's these amazing groups that are not affiliated with any high school and uh, I want to do that right it's like the next level you see them perform and you're like holy crap like you know I want to be able to be in that group because it's just such a you know it's such a high level that they perform at and you know the students are a little bit older in those groups so um, you know you kind of want to see what the next level is like and you're asking yourself, okay, how do I do that? Well, my advice to you, if you're interested in getting involved in something like that, is that in the program that you're at right now, you got to maximize the time that you are in it. And you, every single, you know, whatever you learn from your instructors, a lot of times, you know, they might have uh, march in these groups themselves, uh, but no matter what, they're gonna have a lot more experience that they can impart upon you. Make sure you really tune in and listen to what they're teaching you and uh, try to, uh, if they make corrections, try to make the corrections as quickly as you can and try to improve, improve, improve. So, you know, one day you might take in a lesson, you learn it, you get better at something, and then the next day you gotta ask your instructor what's next and then you get that lesson you got to ask the next day what's next and every single time you just got to get better and better and better because that's the key if you want to be in those groups you have to be at a higher level because you know the thing that drew you to them in the first place is that higher level so you have to actually live up to that higher level right so um, that's one of the keys uh, the other key is just you know just try to like soak in as much as you can in terms of like what you can take out of those groups went based on your observation. So when you go to the shows and you see them perform, watch how they perform, watch how they approach their, approach their instrument. You know, even maybe even be bold and like uh, during, you know, at a show and you meet some of the members, you know, try to go out and meet some of the members and introduce yourself and say, hey, you know, I like what you guys are doing. I want to join your group someday and just ask them, ask them, you know, what they did, you know, to prepare for getting into that group and what they did um, to get there and what kind of, you know, techniques they've had, um, what kind of process they went through, um, you know, the lessons they've learned. Uh, you want to ask those questions. And uh, like I said, just soak it all in, you know, find as many videos as you can. You know, like uh, back when I was in high school, you know, we, we uh, had a bunch of old DCI tapes and we watched all the old shows and we just kind of hyped on it and nerded out on it. And it's like, oh, like I like this show and I like this and I like this group. I like Madison Scouts. I like Blue Devils. I like, you know, like, um, you know, what they're doing here. I like, you know, the writing here. There's just so many things that you can take from that and, um, you know, just be really observant and really like I said, kind of nerd out on it and be really into it. Um, and then I guess the next thing that you'd want to do is you'd actually want to go out 
and try to go to these groups and go to their audition weekends or their workshops, attend those. Now, where I came from in Southern California, there were groups all around me in terms of like proximity. Uh, you know, I can just drive somewhere to the next city and then there would be like a group there where they have their workshop or their rehearsal or their audition and I can go do that. But you know, like, you know, I had grand hopes too, right? So, you know, I wanted to join the Blue Devils. I wanted to join the Madison Scouts. I wanted to join the Blue Knights. So I went to those places to go and audition. I flew out. Right, and it's like, it's a choice that you have to make. It's like, you know, I could go and try out for the local groups, or I can go out and fly out somewhere and go to those uh, groups that are not close to me. And I made that choice, and that's fine, right? You know, it costs a little bit more money, and then you have to figure that out, that logistical situation out. But, you know, if you have the, the means to do that and just go to a group wherever they are, like you really like them, you really like, you know, the Cavaliers, and you're over in California, you know, you have to somehow find your way to get over there to go audition for them, right? So no matter what you gotta do, if that's financial, if that's, you know, ha uh, catching the bus, the Greyhound or something, you gotta do that and make it happen. Um, or you can make a choice, right? Which is a, a good choice as well. Find a group that's local to you, go audition, and, um, you know, and go to their workshops and learn as much as you can. And the thing is, when you go to these audition camps or you go to these workshops, try to learn as much as you can. Um, you, you know, even if you make it or you don't, you can still learn a lot. Maybe you're not ready, maybe you're like at a beginner level and you're like, you know, hey, I'm not ready yet. I don't know if I should go. I recommend that you go anyway because, you know, it's not about whether you make it or not at that point. It's about, you know, what can I learn? What can I take from that? And then maybe if you don't make it, you have an idea of what you need to do in order to make that particular group because so, you know all the groups are gonna be different they're gonna be looking for different things you know it's gonna be different levels and uh, they're gonna be looking for a different kind of experience level from you I mean heck back in the day like way back in the day I mean I I used to borrow books from the library that talked about drum for I know it's crazy right I don't know if you can do that now but um, there are books that talked about how you know back in the day people didn't have <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Back in the day, people didn't have experience. Like people, they would take people off the streets and be like, "I don't know how to play an instrument. I don't know anything." But you know, hey, I'm willing to learn. And then people would, and those groups would teach these people from scratch. Um, I remember one of my mentors, Tom Flo, talking about how, like, you know, if you didn't know how to drum at the beginning of a parade, once you do the, like a long parade, by the end of the parade, you know how to drum. So it's kind of interesting how you know just. Um, you know, you take people who have no experience and then all of a sudden, you know, just, uh, you know, you, you learn and then all of a sudden you're part of this group and, um, you know, even with no experience, you can be part of those groups. But th these days, that's not really the case. You have to have some kind of experience and uh, your high school experience and your, the high school group you're at, you're going to learn the most doing that um, and transferring it over to the higher level groups. Now, the next question that comes to mind is, you know, like the person who asked this question, he actually came from, he's coming from Alaska. And he's telling me that, you know, he doesn't have many resources in terms of groups that are over there, groups that are close by. You know, what does a person like him do in order to march a drum corps group or independent group? So that, in that situation, that's a little bit more tricky, right? It's like we're at, we're in, I had a choice where I can go to a group that's local and just drive over a couple minutes and be there. This person can, does not have that choice. So the only choice, if you want to go out and audition for a, you know, a group uh, somewhere, is you have to go fly out. You have to, you know, like, uh, you have to catch a bus. I mean, Alaska, I don't think you can catch a bus. I think you have to actually fly somewhere. And, you know, it may not, it may be a financial restriction or limitation, but, you know, hey, at the end of the day, if it's something that you want to do and uh, you really, really want to do it, you got to make it happen. You got to find a way, right? You got to find a way to make the money. You got to find a way to like work, you know, jobs or whatever like that. Anything that you need to do to make it happen. And that's life, right? You want something, you have to find the way to make it happen. If you want it bad enough, you will find a way and you will figure it out. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, you know, because we have this uh, internet era, right? Where, whereas we didn't have this luxury back in the day, you know, you can just go on the internet and just watch as much as you can, you know, watch as many drum corps and independent groups as you can, try to learn as much as you can, and once again, nerd out on those things and really be a fan and uh, try to take as much as you can from watching those groups, you know, see the performers, see the difference, see how they perform. Um, what if uh, you're in, that, in Alaska and uh, you're not in a high school group? Well, you just have to work that much harder. I mean, you know, maybe uh, it takes for you, you need to get a drum or a practice pad and you need to learn how to march 
you know, with, you know, find a way to put a, a pad uh, and harness it onto yourself and march around. Learn how to mark time while playing. Learn how to march and move while playing. And these are the things you have to do that you don't have the luxury of having an instructor in front of you teaching you how to do these things or be in a group setting like in a high school group, learning how to work with others. You know, you just have to work that much harder. But like I said, if you really want it bad enough, you will find a way, you will put in that extra effort and uh, hey, it, it's gonna build character, right? You know, somebody who doesn't have, you know, those resources, you know, if they really wanted it, uh, they're gonna have a much better work ethic because it's like, you know, they have to create their, their own resources. They have to uh, dig a little bit deeper to make the goals, their goals and dreams happen. And um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. So don't let that be a hindrance to you. Um, so I guess uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Um, I know it's kind of long and there, there, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm sure a lot of you guys know about, but hopefully you got a different perspective on um, what it takes to get into drum line and you know, and, I'm sorry, to get into like a drum corps and a independent group. Um, and uh, question of the day. Um, if you were to do a similar video as mine, you know, what would you talk about in terms of how you um, would approach things to get into a independent group like a drum corps or independent drum line or winter guard, you know, so, you know, uh, share uh, and it could be helpful to somebody else if you were to share these, share it in the comments below. And uh, like I said, hopefully somebody can uh, take something from that in terms of uh, a learning, uh, I guess, uh, value that they can take from it. And uh, it's gonna be all good. So um, yeah, so feel free to do that. And uh, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, it's getting hot. Man, the weather is turning these days now. It's February here in Southern California. I don't know what the weather is like in your area. Hopefully it's nice. Maybe it's cold in the East Coast. I don't know. Anyways, uh, but yeah, let's talk. Comment on the comment section and uh, I'll see you guys next time.